wanted to show you what Walmart has. They're also stocking up in their gardening supplies and their plant supplies. So this is the most stock I've ever seen Walmart with their terracotta pots. I absolutely love terracotta because it's one of the best for most plants and it's uh, easy to decorate. I'm going to show you how in another video and um, it's a very great price. So we have these little tiny ones at 42 cents, but the ones that I usually always keep in stock in my house are these, the four inch clay pots, 94 cents, very useful size. And then they have these bigger ones, 146, very useful size. And then we jump, they have all the little saucer plates, which I love having the saucer plate to go with it. I think it's a perfect combo, love it. And then they have bigger ones, which is this 324. But this is a, has a good eight or 10 inch entrance. So I think it's for that pri eight inch. For that price, pri that size, trying to get another pot, a ceramic pot, it's gonna be a lot more expensive. And I just love the way terracotta looks. And then they have these, this is a 10 inch, 594. So it seems Walmart is stocking up right now in January, this plant section or the plant pot, something that usually last, late last year was very empty. Wow, 250. These are very cute. They are four inches. They're white, very classy, clean cut look, 250. That's good. I have also these. These are, these are, 397? I don't think so. I think these are like 250 and the 397 are these because they're bigger. Huh. And then they have these 497. These feel like so good. So obviously as you can see here, a little water, extra water can go there and stay in the bottom. And you can always kind of like tilt it over and get the excess water out of it. So yeah, that's very useful. They have these beautiful ones have us a drainage hole look at those little tags they're $7.97 they have these $4.97 has a drainage hole ceramic so yeah this is stuff that I would stock up on white terracotta my favorite um, and then these are $6.97 this is very cute a little more pricey though and then of course these are super cute. I just don't like the price. $12.97 is a considerable price, especially if you have lots of plants. I usually cannot invest that much in my pots. So I look for cheaper alternatives. Um, and they have these little hanging baskets that they look like they were worker, but they're not the ceramic. $12.98. Um, they're okay, but they look very fakish. I don't know. I would definitely grab one of these are this would be my go-to this is beautiful and it already has the plastic liner and it's 1997 for this size this is the 12 inch basket this is a 10 inch basket for 1497 and then down here we have a really big one 26 dollars but it's very very well made this is very cute like if i'm gonna pay more I'll make it be very nice these are Let's see, these are 984, 6 inch, 12, 92, 8 inch. Okay, so they have these 250, and these are the 4 inch. Very nice. So the same like the white, they have it in gray. Then down here, 1174. It's a not, wow, this is very interesting. It's like, what is it made out of? Terrasso, it's Seems like terracotta to me, some kind of terracotta like painted. Very nice. This seems like very high quality. 1174. Let's see, what other good cheap finds you're finding here? They have these $5 ones, they're five inches. Nice and heavy. Um, $12.97. These are cute. I have something similar to this for a golden pothos and it looks very nice, but mine's white and I'm very happy with it. I'll just let you look there a little bit. Okay, this is interesting. Look, they have a full mixture terrarium kit 
for $7.84 and you're going to have the different color stones, the moss, the pebbles. Yeah, that's really good. And you can get the terrarium here for $12.97. Oh man, that's so cool. And then they have a bigger one there for ter a big terrarium. I don't see the price. But I'm sure those are a good $25. Oh, they're $19.84 right here. That's not bad for that size. But this is the cute one. $24.92. Uh, how fun would this be? Super fun. I've never done a terrarium, so that would be new to me. They have a lot of the decorative stones. Again, like I mentioned, you can always get more stones at Dollar Tree. Um, and $4.97 just for the rocks. And then they have some moss, $3.97. And look, they have all the little terrarium tool set for $9.84. How fun. They have little hanging baskets here with the wicker. The cocoa baskets, seven eighty-two, and then the big long ones for seven thirteen ninety-seven. Okay, this section. I wanted to show you this. Um, for example, this. You see this? I have this already. Bought it. Bought two. Absolutely love it. It is fourteen seventy-four. It's a little bit of a higher investment, but it's really good quality. It's better homes and garden. And this is solid wood. So I, I, I think this is great. I don't know if you can find it any cheaper. I haven't seen it any cheaper. But yeah, $14.74. This is $6.94. And um, you gotta buy these in early spring. If not, they run out. I bought this last year and I have it. You have to see my big micans in this. It looks absolutely gorgeous. When I do my rest of my house tour video, you're gonna be able to see my micans in this one. Beautiful. I don't think the price is bad. <clears throat> Yay, they have these? $7.93.97. These can be used to hang your pots so they can look like they're floating. I want some of these. Because you, as you see here, your pots up end up see, looking like they're just floating on the wall. So this is great for decoration. $3.97. Okay, so these are more to hang off of something. Like, obviously, like your porch. Those are cute. And they're $7.97. Does it say how many inches? 4.9 inches diameter. And this one here, sorry, I want to see what the diameter for these. Does it say? I don't see it. But yeah, I would have to go play with the terracotta pots and see what size terracotta pot fits pants of this. Okay, so these are also used to hang your your ba hanging baskets inside your house. Put it against the wall like that. Ooh, that's pretty. See that picture? $8.97. This um, Dollar Tree also has some, but it's very simple. These are a lot, lot nicer quality, $8.97. So they have ceiling hooks, $5.96. Okay, plant bracket. What's this? Hey, these are good. $3.974. I saw these and somebody was doing a home tour video and I was like, how are they hanging their pots? See, I'm going to have to go play with a terracotta pot so you guys can see how they hook up here. Interesting. And then they have chains. These are at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, just so you'll know. At least right now they are. All this is for a dollar. Okay, so these are, these are 47 cents, but it's for one. If you can find them at Dollar Tree, you can get six for one dollar. They have different sizes, but yes, see saucers like these are super important for all these for plant lovers. They're very useful. They have loads of stuff, guys. Loads of stuff. This says it's a plant caddy. Oh yeah, yeah, to kind of move your plant around. I have one of these. Um, they have these nice little wooden stands. I guess you get both of those for $9.92. As you can see here in these pictures, $12.97. And then these plant coyotes are $7.87, but you can find some like these at the Dollar Tree for $1. Just 
time to buy it there. I think this one's really cute. I have something similar to that. Very nice farmhouse rustic look. And then these here, I think these are good. 547, I'm always looking for plant stands, but I don't want to spend a lot of money on my plant stands because it adds up. 496 and 597, let's compare them. I have both of those. The only thing I will tell you, you're gonna be limited here on the size of the plant pot. It can't be bigger than what this actual size is. So I don't love that. It's kind of limited. I like the ones that are flat. For example, this the gold one is flat. So the, even if the plant pot is bigger, it's still gonna work. So I find this one more useful. And I like that it's kind of like, doesn't draw too much attention. It's nice and slim and it's only $5. And it's beautiful, it's gold. So this, this I'm in love with this here. Now they have also these, they have the marble look on the top. They're $12.97, but look at the quality. You can already see. Might not be worth your investment. They have these really nice wood ones, $22. And those bottom ones seem to be like $29. They have um, these little bottles are to, you know, water sprayers. They probably have these at the Dollar Tree though, $124. But all of this is very useful stuff to have at home for putting more water humidity in your plants or doing a little neem and pesticide mix. They also have some just simple macrame to plant hangers, but they're $7.97. They look very good quality, but you can get these so much cheaper at Amazon. That's what my experience. You can pay about three, four, five dollars for one of them. They have all these to water your plants, 188 different sizes. Okay guys, uh, I am back at the terracotta section so I can show you how this little tool helps you have a floating plant on your wall. So basically you're gonna screw it and it does come with the screws towards your wall. And then I'm gonna demonstrate. So basically you get your little terracotta pot, you go like this and it holds. And what's the coolest thing is you can do different sizes. I'm gonna grab this a little bit bigger one. That's cool. And then we're gonna do this big baby. Now, maybe it's not recommended because it would be too much weight for your wall, <laughs> but it works. Okay, so that's cool. Now, this other one that I had showed you guys, you're limited to the size of the pot. This would be good for a big pot. But no, I, I don't like how far away this is from the wall. I think I like the other one better. At least for, yeah, see you're limited. So this, this would be what I would find very useful and very cute. And I also wanted to show you that this is their water, moisture, light, and pH meters. If you don't have one of these, I think it's definitely recommended. I really recommend it to my friends. Um, <laughs> again, the price is not where I can see it, but these shouldn't be more than ten dollars. Um, Twelve dollars, maybe thirteen, or it can be as low as eight dollars. And um, I overall I use it to measure the moisture. That's what I'm always using it for my plants. So I don't trust my finger. I don't trust. I usually use this unless the plant's really, really, really dry. It's a clear thing, but. Some plants need to stay in moist and some plants need to stay go to dry before you water them. So this is the only way you're going to actually be able to see what it is inside the soil. So if you don't have one of these, I really, really recommend it. So this is the fertilizer I use for my plants. It's Alaska Fish Fertilizer. Just so you'll know in case you're interested, it's $9.88. It lasts a very, very long time. I also have bought this to take root. 454 when propagating plants. I don't always use it, but it's good to have it in case you want to try something like that. I also use Super Thrive. You might have seen me put it to some of my water mixtures. Um, it's good to um, avoid transplant shock, plus it gives vitamins. So I use these a lot to do some kind of uh, fertiliz fertilizing to my plants. I use this and then this, alternate with this. Um, the actual spray that I use for neem for against pesticides is the Bonide. Um, I have bought this before and this is Bonide brand. 
$4.97 and they have all these brands for different kinds of pesticides. I think it's really important that everybody has something like this at home because you are going to encounter billy bugs, thrips, spider mites at some point if you're collecting plants or if you have plants. So it would be good to stock up and have something like this ready. And I just thought I wanted to go ahead and show you. So let's check out the plant section. It's it's okay. It's medium size, but this is definitely not the best that they have. But they have some. I wanted to show you guys what they have. The cordy lines and how much are these? Usually these are fourteen, right? Oh wow! They don't have a price, but I would expect it not to be more than twelve dollars. But look at the color of this leaf. This one's very very nice. That makes it tempting, tempting. Yucca cane, and they have the Sansevieria. And this is a nice, nice one. And they have this different, different bakia. Look at those leaves, they're very big. And I do like the variegation that it has. I don't have a different bakia, but uh, there's some that are really calling my name. And you know what, I have to find a price for this. What is wrong? They are not nice. They're not labeled very nice. Dracenas, that's really nice. How this, this is a very beautiful plant. And then they have this bromeliads. Wow! Look at that color. Very beautiful. Okay, they have some ferns. If you have the humidity for them, a lot of the smaller plants that these are usually 374 it's nice and then I see here these are very pretty variegated they have them. it just says succulent I don't know the name of it but it's cool these are nice these are cute they come in pots terracotta pots look at that it's a nice bluish color right it's like a blue green do we see a price Costa Farms no wonder you're cute okay how much is this Let's... oh this is a nice echeveria look at that color oh but I think they're overwatering it it feels wet There's nobody here so I can ask, you know? Yeah, Costa Farm's fine. But let's say if it was five dollars, it wouldn't be bad, right? With the pot. It wouldn't be bad. Okay, this one here. What are you? You are cute. This is cute. Some um, aloe, aloe, bromeliads, one pothos. Okay, and then they do have some Costa Farms finds here. They have the um, lemon lime philodendron. And what is wrong today? Like they are not labeling their prices, but I would think this is twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. I'm not gonna get it because I already have one. But look at that color. Isn't it pretty? It's a like big pop. And they have this one here, Dracaena. And then they have these dark ones. But this is not Costa Farms. Nice. And kind of the same things that we already saw on the other side. Very nice. And then we have some succulents. Look at this. I always like this one. I like the colors. 374. And then they have this. Oh, this is so cute. It's not in great shape. It's kind of cut off. All these succulents are not doing good. I think they've been definitely overwatered. I feel bad for them. Oh, they have this one. This is one of my favorite ones. I have this one at home and I love it. It's nice and fussy. It's done great. 
374. They should definitely be in clearance, all of this. And then they have some, some um, Venus pipe traps, which I bought and uh, I wasn't very happy with it. It didn't really do the job. If you're wondering, it was not very good at all at catching flies. 474. And then we have some orchids, eleven seventy four. It's actually very stunning. This one's really pretty. But guys, I'm sorry, they they're t definitely not on the ball game here because they're not uh, giving the right prices. And I'm sorry, my prices weren't perfect. I was corrected that some of my scents were off. But hopefully you were able to see the correct price when I was showing you. So that's it for this video. I'm just going to let you know that this is what I'm purchasing today. I have a lot of stuff already, so I'm not purchasing a lot of them. But there was a lot of good finds here. Um, this is the one that's about $5 in some sense. So I have one. I love it. I'm going to grab another one. But no plans for me today. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you need some terracotta pots, it's time to stock up. Okay, or any other accessories that you like for your plants. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. Thanks. Bye.